It's JJ, what do you remember from two years ago? I mean, I, a lot gets made about the LSU environment, but it feels like that, that Arkansas environment is just as kind of electric at times. Oh, yeah. Um, they're always electric and um, just a big rival. You know, it's always hard to play Arkansas. Ole Miss, Arkansas, big rival. And, you know, we just feel like we're up for the challenge and we got something to prove each and every week. So we, I think we're ready for it and ready to get there. You guys obviously had 10 sacks this, this past weekend. Can you ever remember a time when, when guys were just getting to the quarterback that frequently? Uh, not, not that I know of, but um, we just give that all to jo uh, our coach, Coach Jordan. He prepares well, and uh, we got a really good game plan. And I feel like we just uh, execute our rush plans pretty good. And, um, you know, it's, it's fun to see everybody um, eat, you know, definitely with the D-line we, we have. Just seeing um, Princely, me, Jared Ivey, you know, get he had I think four. So just saying, all of us, Akilo Stone can't forget about they had a little dance going on. But um, can't forget about um, also Big Zay Wall. All of us just seeing them be able to eat and um, just it makes like the recruiting process really just like easier. You know, like cause we just having fun. You know, that's all that's all our coach talk about. Just have fun, go out there, play for your why, and just um, at the end of the day get a win. So I feel like us just doing that and just showcasing that it was a real big example for um, the program. Can you take us through the touchdown run? Oh, so obviously I wish I could have went in there smoothly, but uh, um, I, I know I just ran into a tackle and all I know I was like, okay, I, I, some way I got to get in because I got the face mask penalty on the run before and I was like, I got I to gotta score, at least get positive yards. So I spent out and I was like, okay, it's just me and one guy. So I'm like, I'm just going to dive. I know Kiffin don't say reach, uh, reach the ball out, but I had to reach the ball out for the uh, <laughs> touchdown. I ain't going to lie. But like, it was a special moment. Um, I told him this is something I do. At high, I used to do at high school. So if you just put on the tape, you'll see it. Uh, yesterday, Sam Pittman was, spoke real high about your ability on the offensive side of the ball and to run it in the short yards. What does it mean for you to have other teams and coaches respect what you can do on both sides of the ball, especially in this conference? I mean, it's a blessing. It means a lot, you know, them just seeing the uh, hard work that I put in. And uh, I'm just glad it doesn't go unnoticed just because, you know, I, I just put my head down each day trying to go hard and work, play for the um, player beside me. So um, that's a uh, blessing. And uh, I'm I'm really hyped that Kiffin obviously gave me the uh, opportunity to do do this, and I appreciate Malzahn for giving me that opportunity to do it as well. But I just continue to do it. Hopefully, the goal is uh, me and my coach said get at least eight or nine. So we'll see, we'll see. The all-time record, JJ, for a, a single in a single season for a defensive player is eight. Is what would it mean to you to to get eight or or, or nine? Obviously, like it's eight. So that's the all-time yeah. defense. Okay, then. So we got to get 10 then. That's that's just – but it'll mean a lot, you know. Um, like everybody say, uh, I get DMs from, like, uh, other D linemen from different schools. Like, man, you represent the big boys for real. And uh, it just – again, it's a blessing, and um, I'm thankful for it. And it'll mean a lot, you know, being able to break that record. But, you know, whenever they call my number, I just go out there and try to execute what I got. I'm glad you said that. I was going to ask about the, the outside reaction. Everyone, everyone in Oxford kind of knows about it now, but, but have you seen, you know, other guys or nationally? What, what has that reaction been like as the, the videos kind of get out? No, like I've been saying like a whole bunch. I just get like followers from a whole bunch of other D-linemen and my DMs is filled with, bro, ain't no way you jumped over the pile. Bro, ain't no way you scored. I was like, man, I just, it's a blessing and um, I'm glad I'm here to do it. Going back to when y'all are getting all those sacks in the fourth quarter, was there a moment or is there a moment for y'all when y'all kind of look at each other and realize one of us is getting back there like we've kind of beaten the offensive front? Mm -hmm. We really um, – we always like to call it a race to the QB. And uh, we just really just try to work our best move. Like like at practice, um, all the preparation we put in and all the moves we do, we do it at practice. So we just feel like whoever gets to the QB first and then we just try to top them off and make a big power. So – because I know get – don't look – Perk, he – he be getting a lot of point fives now. He'll jump on your sack now. But that's my dog, though. I ain't going to talk bad about him, but he, he know he be doing sometimes. How have you seen him evolve? I mean, obviously, moving to that position or in T.R.'s room over the summer, but through these first eight games, how have you seen him kind of accept that? Yeah, he uh, he accepted that role and just ran with it. You know, last year he um just sprung out as a freshman, and now he's just, I mean, like, 
That's every week from him. And he real quiet. Like, he don't say too much. He just go out there and do what he do. We call him the silent assassin. So, like, whatever he do, we we, we not surprised about it. Him striking blocks, and he probably a buck 85 or something like that, striking box and just, you know, just playing SEC football. And that's what we expected. Obviously, Arkansas had a big week last last week offensively. What what are some of the keys that that you've seen or have pinpointed to to stopping them? No, they're a great great football team. Um, they got a lot of talent in the um, front line and a great quarterback and good receivers. But um, you know, we can control what we can control, and uh, we I feel like our preparation and our game plan will be a great one. And like I said, I'm excited to go over there and play them. Did Lane say anything to you about reaching the ball over, or was it one of those? Nah, if you, you see, if you see, he gave me a little side fist bump, so I was like, okay, we good. <laughs> Appreciate y'all. Thank you.